we're going to be going over how to create a user inside of a department. For this example, we'll be using the HR department that we created in the previous video. So we'll go down to HR. Once selected, it'll bring us to the department. First thing you wanna go ahead and do is take a look at the different permissions that are set up for the department itself. As you can see here, once the department is created, it'll allow you to create a content approval. What this means is if you have this off, the department can publish content without the approval of any admin. If you select requires one approval, it will send the email with the two links. First link will be the content has been added or modified. Second link will be the approval or denial and it'll send it to all the administrators, but only one needs to approve it. And of course, requires all approvals means that everybody that is an admin needs to approve it before the content displays on the screen. Within permissions, you'll see that you can actually go ahead and create any type of permission you like. For this department, we're gonna allow them to view, create, and edit campaigns. We'll allow them to go ahead and create and edit content along with the ability to view, create and edit layouts. So we'll go ahead and click save. Once that's done, that means that these permissions have been saved. The next step would be to go ahead and create your user. So at the bottom, you'll see a blue button that says create a user and it'll populate a form here. So what you'll do is type in the information for the user. So we'll go ahead and create a user here. Once we've done so, it's going to ask you to also set up their password for them. Now the username is going to be the email address and the password will be one of your choosing. It will require a capital and a special character. So once you have that set up, you'll see that you have the default permissions for the department along with selecting if this user is an administrator a designer, an approver, or if you want this user to be notified when one of the players goes offline. So we'll go down all the way to the bottom, click save, and now you've successfully created a user. To test and see what that user will see within the interface, you wanna go ahead and log out of your account and log in using that user's credentials. Now you'll see that this user only has access to what you've given them within those permissions. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us via phone, chat, or ticket support. We're always here to help you out. We'll see you in the next video.